camp. Uh, now, reactions have been pouring in. Arvind Kejriwal has also tweeted after uh, Aap's uh, stunning show in uh, Punjab, and uh, we'll see when we can put up that tweet. But the latest is that he said, and I quote, is in Kalab ke liye Punjab ke logo ko bohat bohat badhai. So this is the latest reaction that we are getting from Arvind Kejriwal. On your screens is that tweet where Arvind Kejriwal uh, has, uh, uh, you know, posted a picture with Bhagwant Man, his very big bet, very big gamble. Remember, uh, Aam Admi Party uh, chose Bhagwant Man through a tele vote. They asked the people to vote for their uh, chief ministerial candidate, and then an emotional Bhagwant Man was chosen, uh, you know, amongst all other people. Well, a lot of people say that he was the only choice, and it was just a stage thing. But a lot of conversations happened around that. But all in all, it was a big, big endorsement by Arvind K. Jival to choose Bhagwant Man as Aam Admi Party's chief ministerial face. And if these numbers hold true, then Punjab is all set to get Bhagwant Man as its next chief minister. We'll have to wait for the final numbers, Griha. Absolutely, and victory signs and smiling faces over there in that tweet, like we can see. I'm also on, joined on the broadcast by Mr. Ambekanan Sahai, senior journalist. Mr. Sahai, thank you so much for joining us here. Now, uh, let's actually uh, stay with Punjab for a bit and talk about this massive sweep uh, that we are seeing as far as the Ahmadmi Party is concerned. Ahmadmi Party is really expanding strategically, and it might just be a very, very formidable opposition force when it comes to India. No doubt about it. I'll use a stronger word. Punjab has been swept by an Aam Aadmi Party tsunami. How has it happened? You see, one thing is clear. That Congress Party didn't respect its own local leadership. And this has happened in too many states by now. So people have rejected firmly the 125-year-old party. Now coming to Arvind Kejriwal, what is his strongest point? His strongest point is that he delivers what he promises. Old of Delhi knows it. That is why he wins it big in Delhi as well. Free electricity free water, and then one of the most important things, the government schools are running so very better now. In other parts of the country, you will see a mushrooming growth of private schools who charge hefty fees, fees and it, in sharp contrast, the, the, the government-run schools are left high and dry. Arvind Kejriwal turned this tide and made government schools attractive. They produce good results. And see the results. I think if they continue to deliver what they have done in Delhi, they will, they will further expand their borders. And in times to come, mind my words, Arvind Kejriwal is the man to watch. Yes. All right, uh, let me go across to Preeti Sharma Menon, AAP spokesperson. Preeti, thank you for making time and speaking to Mirror now. Uh, well, uh, early trends, early leads uh, give away a very big headline and, you know, picture that changes the political landscape of Punjab. AAP is maintaining a very, very steady and comfortable lead all set to form the government if these numbers uh, continue to stay like this. What is the mood in the AAP camp? We just heard Raghav Chadda who said that it's not going to be Urta Punjab anymore. It is going to be Utta Punjab. So what are the plans for Punjab? Uh, I really thank the people of Punjab for giving a vote to good governance and it is a really historic election because we have seen uh, stalwarts like uh, Badal, Captain and Chami and Sidhu all suffer under the sweep that they are I think that this is now, uh, you know, the it's a great moment for democracy because the voters have shown that they can make choices, they can make choices. And I can't support the fact that the Ahmad Party is now set to show a governance model because in Delhi, you will have more powers, you will have a larger. We seem to have an audience.
audio issue with Preeti's feed there. We'll try and reconnect with Preeti while we fix that line with her and get in a word from Amadmi Party. Meanwhile, I'm also now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Mahishinder Grewal of uh, the Shiromani Akali Dal. Mr. Grewal, thank you so much for joining me. What really went wrong for uh, the Shiromani Akali Dal? Uh, like I was talking to the Congress spokesperson on the broadcast, this is also one of the grand old parties that we have in the state of Punjab. However, it is nowhere when it comes to the sweeping numbers that Aam Aadmi Party has received at the moment. The results are not expected on the lines which they have earned. Akali did hard work and uh, we served the people with earnest uh, zeal. But uh, the people has given the verdict. At this stage, we can only say that we worked hard, but we couldn't pass the examination. So it, let's now wait that the what the Aam Aadmi uh, given a proposal to the people of Punjab will implement uh, and not behave like Congress what they did in nine, uh, 2017. Okay. Hello, 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 hello. We seem to... hello. Uh, Mr. Grewal, yes, yes, please go ahead, please go ahead. Uh, the, actually, the thing is that the people uh, was carried away with the slogan, it did work, go with them, that give one chance uh, to the new party. Uh, two months back, they were in a very bad shape. It's really to their credit that they managed and turned the stones in two months only. And you know, about two months back, only the eight, three MLAs left Aam Aadmi Party and joined Congress. So I think uh, they need a, a congratulations on this occasion only. Okay. Okay, Anshul, uh, you know, the fact that we are looking at what and how the Congress has performed in the state of Punjab, there's one particular comment by uh, Charanjit Singh Channi that I'd like uh, to bring uh, to the notice of our viewers, which was massively spoken about, and which is what he said in the presence of Priyanka Gandhi, yes. where he spoke about not allowing people from Uttar Pradesh and Bihar inside Punjab. Do you think that has really not gone, gone down well for the people of Punjab when it, uh, they turned to vote? Uh, that was a minor footnote. I mean, it's been widely misunderstood. That wasn't the purpose at all. That wasn't the reason why, uh, you know, you'd have a victory of the margin that you see uh, as far as ARP is concerned. I mean, obviously, there has been some sort of movement for change. The reasons of that are not entirely uh, clear to me at the moment because the results are still hardening. So once the final results come, we can go back and examine what happened. Uh, there seems to be a certain amount of anti-incumbency uh, that might have played out in this manner. But yes, I mean, you know, elections are invitational. I mean, people come, they win, they lose also at times when you try and you fail to convince the electorate, you're the best party. You, you try and do that in another time and another day. And that is what the uh, attempt will be for the Congress party. Go back and think. Uh, there has been a, a sort of a revolving door politics in Punjab anyway. Uh, you know, the parties come, then another party is replaced. So it's not that highly unusual. Yes, the fact that ARP has come as an interventionist over there and established itself, well, you know, credit to them. They've been able to convince the electorate. That's absolutely fine. That's what democracy does. And, uh, you know, there is no need to undermine the decisions of the voter at all. In fact, you have to try and understand it. Uh, you have to try and reason with it. And you have to try and convince them for the future. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go back and re-examine what we did or we, what we didn't do and then chalk out a plan for the future. The latest updates that we are getting from Punjab is that Camp Captain Amrinder Singh is trailing by over 14,000 votes. This is the latest. Remember, he's a three-time chief minister and he formed his own outfit, allied with the BJP, he was contesting from Patiala and is uh, trailing uh, 